So welcome everybody, uh, my name is Thomas Sorn and today I would like to talk about the new redesigned JEDA which recently achieved a 2014 Top Safety Pick Plus at IHS. So first of all, in order to achieve a Top Safety Pick Plus at IHS, uh, you have to perform good in five crash categories. The first one is a moderate overlap crash test, 40 miles per hour impact speed, where 40% of the vehicle is involved in the crash. Then the second crash test is a side impact test where a side impact barrier simulates an SUV crashes into the side of the vehicle. The third one is a roof crush test where uh, IHS assesses the strength of the roof which simulates a rollover crash test. And the uh, fourth one is a, a rear impact test where IHS assesses the performance of head restraints. But uh, in 2012, IHS introduced a new crash test, which is the so-called small overlap crash test, where only 25% of the vehicle width is involved in the crash. And so what we are usually doing in order to absorb energy is we use the main frame rail to absorb the energy, but here you can see the main frame rail is not even touched, so we have to make sure that the whole energy is absorbed in the area of the uh, occupant compartment, so mainly the roof, the A-pillar, the lower sill, and also the, um, the footwell area to maintain uh, a proper occupant compartment, because only if the occupant compartment is not deformed, restraint systems can work properly, like the curtain side airbag, the front airbag, and also the seatbelt system. So how do we do that? Um, the, the main challenge was now to absorb energy in a very small area. So this area needs to be very, very stiff. And we do that mainly by putting, especially in those areas uh, which are involved in the crash, high strength steel. So high strength steel is A, very strong and B, lightweight. And so the deformation could be reduced to a minimum and even the footwell is almost completely maintained. So we talked about uh, crashes and how to minimize the outcome of a crash, but our goal in the future is to avoid or to mitigate crashes. And in order to earn the plus portion of, of the top safety pick plus, IHS required to have some kind of crash avoidance feature. This car does have frontal collision warning. Uh, the frontal collision warning system does detect the situation in front of you and warns the driver of a let's say dangerous or crash imminent uh, situation and so it makes the driver aware of the situation so that the driver can either brake or steer around the obstacle. If you would like to have more information about uh, the crash test, the assessments and this car in particular, please go to www.iihs.org. Thank you very much.